spreadsheet here or your worksheet. That's what this is called. These are your tabs, so sheet one. If you want another one, sheet two. You can have data on here, so we'll type in sheet two. And then if we go here, you'll see it's blank. It's another one. So we can add those and change those. Right here, A, B, C, all these letters, these are columns. So when you're going to look at something vertically, you'll reference a column. And these are rows, obviously on the horizontal side. So you have two, three, and so on. And they go all the way down to over a million. And over here, A, B, C, it goes to Z but it continues. Then it just goes AA, AB, AC, and so on. You'll get all the way up to XFD. So in Excel, when you're trying to build something or just use it, you're going to use for the most part the tabs, and this is called the ribbon. So each of these tabs up here, there's the home tab, insert, page layout, formulas, and so on, and they each have their own different groupings. The home tab is where you're going to spend most of your time. So in the Home tab, here's the clipboard group, and you can tell it's a group because it's divided by this line, and they'll have similar functions. So if you pop this button right here, clipboard, that'll give you different items. And if you go here, hit that, it expands it, and there are more options. The same with alignment, expand it, you have more options. So you can change a bunch of things here, and it's really important to just explore in those, kind of see what they do, and if you like them, if you don't. You may or may not use them. And in Excel, each cell, so when you have a column and a row and they intersect, for example, let's pick this one. This is a cell, this rectangle. And the way we would reference it is G5. So if we look at this and we type in 7, let's say we want to reference that cell. So you have something over here, a calculation. You can hit equals. There's two ways to do this, G, 5, and what do you know? It'll show what's in G5. And if you change G5 to 9, that'll change as well. But <clears throat> in that, in Excel, you can have different references. You can even have, if you have more than one cell, so if you highlight this, that is now a range. So it's a range of cells, and you can also name it. So if you just go in here and say range 1, enter. And then you go here. You'll see that it is referenced as range 1. And you can also, in your formulas, type in equals range 1. And you'll see right there, you can reference it. So you can set um, a certain like reference point for yourself. You don't have to, but it's a nice little tip. So in here, we're going to start working through some of these groups. If you have a title, let's say inventory. You hit that, you'll press enter, and there you go, you have it typed in. Great. And let's take a few items. We have apples, let's say it's a grocery store. Bananas, strawberries, and grapes. We have that, and actually let's say there is chicken as well. We have a few, a few different items with this. The first is we might want to format these. We see that strawberries goes over into column B right here. The easiest way to do that is you'll just click on column A that it's in. You see it runs over and just find this line right in between them. So you'll have a down arrow here, down arrow here. It changes to this. Double click it and it will automatically adjust to the column width. The same goes if you have something that's too far down this way. Uh, if you can just click the row, double click, and it will adjust. Let's say the quantity we have is right here, and the price. And we also have, um, oh gosh, let's call it profit margin. So quantity, apples, we have 10, bananas, 15, strawberries, 30, grapes, 50, and chicken, 5. And all you do is you type those numbers in, press enter. So if we want 11, we go 11, enter, 16, enter, 30, same thing, 51, 31, 
and 6. Now let's go 9. Why not? And you can move around with either the mouse or the arrow keys. Let's say the price of these is, uh, let's say an apple is 50 cents, so we would type in decimal place, 5, 0. Then we would type in bananas, let's call them a 75 cents, 0.75, enter. Strawberries, 0.25, enter. Grapes, 0.15, enter. And chicken, 5, enter for five dollars so you could also do five point zero zero either way profit margin let's say this is ten percent so all we do is enter a decimal place there let's say point one zero ten percent bananas point one five fifteen percent strawberries point five point zero five right here because we're using fractions right now and decimals grapes point 10 percent and chicken we'll say that's 025 percent and you'll see there's some formatting errors and we're going to go through how to correct those in just a second so on this if we wanted to see number of sold uh, yes sold we can do actually we'll say profit dollars there we go so we're going to first we want to make this line up so the best way to do this is you highlight, just like we did before, all the columns you want. And then you find any one of these in-between items where this logo pops up and just click it twice. It automatically adjusts. Fantastic. So the quantity, we like those numbers. They're just fine. Price, we need these in dollars. So we can highlight this. All you have to do is drag your mouse, click, drag it down. And then we're going right up to the ribbon here which is on the home tab and you hit this drop down menu and we want it in currency uh oh but what happened here it's okay it just doesn't show up in there so we fix that by clicking on this one the column C and then we double click again and there it is profit margin we want this in percent so we're gonna do the same thing drag down or click drag right across use that drop down then we will find percent and there's percentage right here. Click it, and there it is. And even if we change it, 0.11, it will adjust. The formatting stays. And here's something you can do in terms of making these things calculate for you. So we want the profit in dollars per each unit. So all we will hit is the equals button, which is right next to your backspace, equals, and then we can just click what we want. So we'll click right here, which is cell D2, D for the column, two for the row and then we want to multiply so we'll multiply we hit the star key and then you hit or the asterisk and you click the price which is C2 you'll see that they auto fill here they're multicolored so you can tell the blue one will be multiplied by the red one and then hit enter and there we go now we can use a cool function called copy and paste so you can go right here and just click it copy Highlight where you want it, then you'll hit paste. And what do you know? When you click this, D3 times C3. Well, this was D2 times C2 first. If we hit F2, it will show us. Now this one, if we hit D3 times C3, we hit F2. Great. It copied everything right down there. It automatically calculated, and it'll update everything for us. So if we make this $10, the formatting stayed the same. Profit margin stayed the same and the calculation updated. Fantastic. Now if we wanted to do the profit, let's say total profit. And again, we're going to widen this, double click, now it fits. Total profit. Again, we'll go equals, we will click the profit in dollars, and we will hit the asterisk to multiply, and then we'll click the quantity. And then we hit enter, and there we are. And you can also, instead of doing the copy and paste up here, grab this little nub on the bottom, click it, hold it, drag it down, and let go. And there you go. If we wanted to get the total here, we can definitely do that. So let's say we need total profit for everything here. We'll hit equals, and this function adds everything for you automatically. Sum you can click that, hit it twice, and just drag across whatever you want. 
right there, then hit enter, and there you are. The beautiful thing about this is it will update whenever you do any of these. So let's say we had 20 bananas. Everything adjusted. This adjusted, that adjusted. Fantastic. And if we wanted to add a title on this, let's say we need to add a row here. We don't want to move all this down. We don't want to copy it. So you just click the row, right click, insert, and now we have a new row. So we want to call this grocery store sales. And if we don't want to have it here and here, you see how it bleeds over, it's kind of sloppy. We can make it all into one cell. So we'll just highlight the whole thing and we'll go up again to the home ribbon. We hit merge and center. And now it's one cell. It's centered, great. If we wanted to make anything highlighted, let's say we want to make this green. We just click the cell we want, go right up here, hit this color, drop down, select the green, and there it is. We can change these the same way. Highlight everyone you want, drop down, we'll hit blue, and if we want these to be changed, that's not a problem. We can even do that, and we'll make those orange. So you see, you can really do a bunch of crazy different things. Don't take a whole lot of effort, and they're pretty quick. So this has been kind of an intro course. We've looked over some basic functions. We've looked over a couple different ways to format. We've looked at Merge and Center, and we've looked at how to uh, change the colors and the number formatting. If you like this, great. We're going to have another one on it. We'll go a step further. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. We have a lot of videos up. And thanks for your time. See you next time.